Havoc 3 has been out for a while, and everyone has been raving about the possibilities of the Micro Four Third sensor. In my opinion, they haven't scratched not even the surface of its capability yet. Well, we just got an upgrade. I've been secretly testing out the Phantom Love Beta version for the Mavic 3 for a while, and although I was happy about the color science DJI had for us in this drone, it kinda lacked in some ways. But that's over. Phantom Love for the Mavic 3 has arrived. Phantom Love has been known to be a powerful tool for any filmmaker who strive over time to color correct, add texture, and even tone to their footages, which prosumer cameras kinda lacked on, extending the possibilities of a higher end cinema camera at their hands. I welcome you, Phantom Lux for the Magic 3. Man, what you guys thought about that? It looked pretty cool, right? Cinematic, filmish, come on. It's Phantom Lux, how is not gonna look like that? What's up guys, I am Rick Bunny and I'm back with another video. And thank you to everyone that's been subscribing to the channel from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every one of you guys. Before I start this video, I wanna say I'm still doing that giveaway for the Amaran Aperture, well, Aperture Amaran 60D light which I'm gonna pick as soon as I hit the 1,000 subscriber and I am going to pick a person that has the most inspiring comment. All you have to do is go to this video right here, which I linked right up here, and you're gonna go comment why color grading is important to you, what it means to you, and also filmmaking. I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Mr. Joel Famolaro for providing me these LUTs. The Phantom LUTs for the Mavic 3 is amazing, I mean, you guys saw it for yourself. I think it looks super awesome. What's not to like about the Phantom Lux? I just want to show you in DaVinci Resolve pretty much each one clip because I know the video was a little too quick. So let's go scene by scene and you guys can see how these LUTs work. So let's go into DaVinci Resolve and check that out. <laughs> this is the neutral look. As you guys know, the neutral look, you know, for the A7S3 is my go-to, is my favorite one. I like stuff being you know neutralized and looking very awesome but going into this image as you can see the image quality is so amazing look at the sky look at the detail on the shadows i think you know and, and i do much oh pretty much i just did an exposure adjustment and just slapped on the lut and that's pretty much it and then we got this image neutral i love it my favorite one this is the utopia this one to me has the most pleasing look. It looks very cinematic, very soft, warm, but it has that nice detailish shadows and highlights. As you can see right here with the crane, this is pretty much like, you know, you know, sun was going down. It was pretty much sunset. And this is when you really wanna use this drone, like golden hour, um, sunset time, stuff like that. Um, let's go with the next clip. The next clip here um, this is my third favorite is the tungsten. And honestly, I love the tungsten. You get that little warm look. If you can see the sun hitting right here, um, you can see the warm all over the, the over the cruise. The water looks amazing. Um, the green is right. Everything. I mean, what's not to like about this look? Like I said, the tungsten is pretty awesome. Ice blue. I love ice blue. Actually, right now, this whole time, I am using the ice blue for this talk head. You can see in the screen right now it looks just awesome look at the sky look at the detail on the shadows like i said the highlights i mean what's not to like jamaica i know this is pretty much i think the least favorite of everyone um, i think jamaica has a time and place but for this situation i think it looked pretty good you know water is you know it's green in this situation um, depending on the day it'll be lighter but you know everybody knows florida water has this color then you got here in utopia and this one, I like it a lot because since this is a lot of blue with the sky, um, you get the reflection from the sky into the sea. You get that blue accentuating. And man, look at these buildings, man. This is just awesome. This is pretty much almost nighttime already. Um, 
I want to give a special shout out to my boy, um, Jay Stars. I'm gonna link it in the description. You guys check him out. He provided me with these footages from Miami. Um, big time friend. You know, thank you, brother. Appreciate you. What do you guys think about these LUTs? I think these LUTs are so amazing because if you're not that knowledgeable at color grading, if you're starting out, I think, you know, and you're, you know, you're new to flying drones, if you have a Mavic 3 and you're still having, you know, trouble with V-Log, I think slapping these LUTs, you know, minor adjustments on your white balance and your exposure and you're good to go. If you have a Mavic 3, I'm going to say it again, these are the LUTs for you if you're not knowledgeable in color grading. But if you're in color grading, you like to do your own stuff, then by all means, you don't need to use these LUTs. But the purpose of this video is for you to check out these LUTs and try them out. If you love your Phantom LUTs from the A7S III, you will love these. Honestly, I love these. I like to slap them on and do a grade on top of it because I like to be creative. But if you're not that creative with color grading, I'm not saying that you are, but I think this is the way to go. This is going to be it for me, guys. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative. I didn't want to make this into a tutorial. I just wanted to make it into a illustration of these LUTs. I'm going to link in the description in the bottom. That way you guys can go straight to Joe Famalaro's site and purchase these LUTs. And honestly, thank you for subscribing to the channel. And I hope you guys, you know, stick along, right along with me. I'm already at, somebody's calling me right now. That's J-Stars, you will have to wait. And honestly, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the comments, the love. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.